So hello guys, welcome back for another video and this time we will be talking about operations involving fractions. To start with, let us recall some important things that has been discussed on my previous video. Hi guys, so welcome back. Thank you for watching again another video on the different operations on fractions. So let us just recall a little about addition and subtraction of similar fractions. First step is to add or subtract the numerator. Second step is to copy the same denominator. And third step is to simplify the fraction. Again, you should always simplify your final answer no matter what operation you are in. Okay, I would like to emphasize this one. Take note that before you can combine, when I say combine, add or subtract fractions, their denominator should always be the same, should always be similar fractions before you can add or subtract. So, hello again. In this video, you will be learning about addition and subtraction of the similar fractions. And I'm going to introduce to you two, two, me two methods on how to do addition and subtraction of the similar fractions. The first method is we call it the butterfly method. And later on, you will see it for yourself. Why is it called the butterfly method? The second method is I call it the cross emoji method because you will see it also later. So let's not make it longer. Let's start with the first method. So as I have mentioned, I will be teaching you two methods on how to add or subtract the similar fractions. But I would like you to take note that before you can add or subtract anything else, especially in the first method, your fraction should always be similar fractions. So... Let's start with the first method. Method 1, we call it the butterfly method. So what are the steps in doing the butterfly method? So step 1 is to get the LCD or the least common denominator. If ever you don't know how to get the least common denominator, just click the video on the bottom right part of this video. Step number 2, divide the LCD by the denominator, then multiply it to the numerator. Take note that it should be done for both fractions. But if in case you are to add three or more fractions, then you should do the same step for all the fractions. Step number three, add and subtract the fractions. So let's have some example. For example, number one, two fourth plus one over seven. So if we have 2 over 4 plus 1 over 7, then first step is to get the LCD. LCD again stands for the least common denominator. So we get the LCD of 4 and 7, which is 28. Now what we're going to do with the 28, now let's look on step number 2. So as you can see, I put the 28 as their LCD on the bottom part of the original fraction. So for step number two, is actually where the butterfly method happens. So again, in step number two, it is stated that we are going to divide the LCD by the denominator, then multiply it to the numerator. So we will be doing it as shown in this video. So first, divide the LCD by the denominator. Then multiply it to the numerator. And as you can see, it looks like it formed wing of a butterfly. So that's how, that's the reason why it is called a butterfly method. So let's do it now. 28 divided by 4, which is 7 times 2, it's 14. Now let's do the left wing. 28 divided by 7 times 1 is equal to 4. As you can see, we arrive with 14 over 28 and 4 over 28, which are considered similar fractions. Step number 3, we can now add or subtract the fractions. So 14 over 28 plus 4 over 28 will give us 18 over 28. But 18 and 28 are still divisible by 2. So we must get its lowest term by dividing both numerator and denominator by 2 which is equivalent to 9 over 14. 
let's have example number 2. So 5 over 8 plus 1 over 3. Again, first step is to get the LCD. LCD of 8 and 3 is equal to 24. So, step number 2, we put the 24, the LCD, on the bottom part of the original fractions. And then, we divide it by the denominator, then multiply it to the numerator. That's for the wings of the butterfly for us not to be confused on which number should we divide and multiply. So, we have 24 divided by 8 is 3 times 5, which is equal to 15. On the other side, we have 24 divided by 3 will give us 8 times 1 will give us 8 again. Step number 3, add or subtract the fractions. Since the operation is sub subtraction, therefore we must subtract 15 minus 8 equals 7 over 24 because we will just copy the same denominator. Since we cannot simplify any more 7 over 24, this will be our final answer. Now let's move to our last example. In example number T, we're going to add 2 fifths and 8 over 9. So step 1, get the LCD of 2 fifths and 8 over 9. So we have to look for the least common multiple of 5 and 9, which is equivalent to 45. Now let's do step number 2. Since we get the LCD already, we can now divide it by the denominator. Then we have to multiply the answer to our numerator. For us to easily get the process, let's use the, wing, the wings of the butterfly. So 45 divided by 5 will give us 9 times 2, which is 18. And on the other side, we have 45 divided by 9 will give us 5 times 8, which is equal to 40. Now we have the equivalent fractions of 2 fifths and 8 over 9. Now let's add them. Step number 3. So add and subtract add or subtract the fractions. So 18 plus 40 will give us 58 over copy the same denominator which is 45. Now we have to simplify our answer. So take note that our answer is, is an improper fraction. Therefore, we must convert it to mixed fraction. So when we convert it to mixed fraction, we must divide 58 and 45. And we will get 1 and 13 over 45. So now you're done with uh, the first method. And I believe you can answer for yourself why is it called the butterfly method. And this time, let's move to our second method. And let's see why is it called the cross emoji method. Go! Welcome back. And this time, we will be discussing the second method in adding or subtracting dissimilar fractions. And we call it the cross emoji method. So please take a look on how a cross emoji looks like. Let's discuss first what are the steps that we are going to do in a cross emoji method. Step 1 is to cross multiply. Later, I will show you how to do cross multiplication. Step number 2 is to perform the operation. So basically, the, the method involves two steps only first is simply multiplying numbers and second is to perform the operation let's say you add or you subtract unlike with the butterfly method you will do uh, divide and multiply then perform the operation but in here we will just be multiplying then we will perform the operation afterwards but take note that this method is applicable only in adding or subtracting two fractions take note dalawang fraction lang hindi tatlo hindi apat dalawang fraction lang na i-add or isusubtract so let me show you how, how simple cross emoji method is. So let's use the same example from my previous video, which is 2 4 plus 1 over 7. So when you say cross multiply, so we will do it this way. The numerator of the first fraction times the denominator of the second fraction. So that's 2 times 7, which is equal to 14. Then we cross multiply also 4 and 1. The denominator of the first fraction times the numerator of the second fraction which is 1 so that's 4 times 1 equals 4 and last one to get the denominator we must multiply up both the denominator also so 4 times 7 will give us 28 second step is to perform the operation since our operation is addition then the only thing that we will add there 
are the numbers on the top, which is 14 and 4. So when we add 14 plus 4, that will give us 18. And copy our denominator, which is 28. But 18 over 28 could still be simplified by dividing both by 2. So 18 by 2 will give us 9, and 28 by 2 will give us 14. Example number 2. So 5 eighths minus 1 thirds. So again, cross multiply. So 5 and 3 will be multiplied. That will give us 15. And another 8 times 1 will be multiplied. That will give us 8. Then, to get our denominator, we must multiply our denominators, which is 8 and 3. So, that's equivalent to 24. Second step is to perform the operation. Our operation here is subtraction. Therefore, we must subtract 15 minus 8. And that will give us 7 over 24. And again, 7 over 24 is already in simplest form. Therefore, our final answer would still be 7 over 24. So let's have example number 3, which is 2 fifth plus 8 over 9. So first step, cross multiply or multiply the numbers. So we have 2 times 9 will give us 18. 5 times 8, which will give us 40. And 5 times 9 will give us 45. Then, second step, perform the operation. Our operation here is addition. So we must add 18 and 40. That's why it will give us 58 over 45. But this fraction is an improper fraction therefore we can still convert it to mixed fraction so upon converting it it will give us an answer of 1 and 13 over 45 so now i think after watching the second method i believe you are able to answer the question why is it called cross emoji method and by this time again i would like to emphasize that the cross emoji method is used only for when you are going to add or subtract two fractions so I think we're all done, and I think I was able to give you two options to, to use when you encounter problems involving addition and subtraction of dissimilar fractions. Okay, so it's up to you now to decide which method and which is the which is more appropriate method to use in doing addition and subtraction of dissimilar fractions. That's all for now. Keep safe, guys, and God bless us.